Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Absolute Health Care Driver, nominated driver, Ricky Bird. Um, introduction about Ricky, uh, son of Beverly, a longtime educator and, uh, of the Cree Nation here, um, and late Ricky Nelson. Uh, he spent his uh, entire adult work, uh, life working within the Montreal Cree Nation, the bulk of that work being done within the youth or the community, of our community. Um, he continues to do that work, um, advocating for, uh, for youth as a mentor and a coach. Um, he's been doing this work uh, prior to uh, his last term, which was uh, just recently. Um, I, I, for, for as far as I remember, he's, he's been coaching our youth and, uh, and mentoring our youth. Um, and even further back than that, I've been on teams with Ricky going to the games, um, having him as a teammate, and uh, the ideologies in which, that, in which he holds dear to himself, um, advocating for our youth, advocating for fair play, advocating for uh, just, just fairness in general and um, enriching our youth's lives, um, to see beyond um, the world view of what's in front of them within our community, um, going further and uh, showing what, the, what life has to offer. Um, beyond uh, just this community, uh, through sport, through education, through culture. Um, those of you that know Ricky, he's been uh, also an advocate of our uh, traditional practices with sweats, um, some ceremonial practices at dance. Um, he's been taking youth to um, powwows and uh, sun dances and, and all sorts of uh, traditional practices. Uh, actually, after after today's nomination, so he'll be rushing Saskatoon to uh, deliver plumes to dancers in Saskatoon um, for the purpose of uh, practicing our traditional rites and our cultures. So um, that's kind of an insight of uh, where his heart lies um, for our youth. He currently works for the school um, and he volunteers adamantly um, in every, every uh, aspect that he can, especially coaching. He has a deep passion for that and um, enriching our, our youth lives. Um, so it says here that he, he pledges to continue to work for the betterment of our nation. Um, we had a short conversation about this earlier, um, uh, talking about his action, his mission statement was and his actions and what he wanted to do. And he wanted to continue um, the work that he set out to do, even as a youth. Um, looking at the addictions and uh, wellness of our people. And um, right now the pandemic of uh, drugs and alcohol are rampant and uh, they're one of the um, sole contributors to um, homelessness within our, within our, our nation. And uh, that's not just rural areas, but also here. And uh, he wants to address that as best he could because um, we've all been there. He knows I've been there. I was homeless for many years myself, and while I was on the streets, he was one of the guys that helped me um, to find my way. So, if I didn't know anything about Ricky except for um, the things he's done for me when I was down and out, um, that would be enough. The content of character um, that he possesses and shows um, really, um, really are adamant. And the work he continues to do, uh, the work he's done in the past, and what he's done for me personally, and when he's up for a community as a whole, um, holding the uh, housing portfolio for many years when he was in the last time. Um, he wants to continue that work, but add, add more to it with the, uh, with the enrichment, enrichment of our lives and our, our people and our housing. Um, so yeah, I, I, I advocate uh, completely for, for Ricky and, and uh, I wish him well. And um, when it comes time, please vote for Ricky. Thanks a lot, guys. So we can like to accept, I have your acceptance for this right here. Okay, good, good evening everyone. First off, I'd like to thank the Creator for giving us a beautiful day and thank you or not for opening open, openings up with a with a prayer. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ricky Bird. I am 43 years old. I am the son of Bev Bird and the late Rick Nelson from Aquin. 
I have been employed with the band for, oh, I could say probably more than 20 some years. Most, most of them being, being at the school here and working with the youth. I'm a big advocate for the, for the youth. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my nominator, Abby, Absalom Helkett, and my secondary brand. Thank you, boys. And also, for those that don't know that, I'm the grandson of Sally Victoria Bird and the late Senator Alan Bird. The reason for putting my name forward is we, we, need, a, we need a strong voice for the youth. There, there's, much, there's a lot of youth out there who need help, who, who, who struggle with mental health and addictions. And me being, me being a coach for probably 18 plus years, I, am, I, I do have a big voice for the, for the youth. And I, it, it, my, my voice would not only be for the youth, it would be for all membership. Elders, youth, and uh, the, gra the grassroots people. I have served on council for two and a half years. So I do have experience with what is needed to, to be on council. It is uh, a stressful, but I can say a good stress, this job. It's, it, it takes a lot out of your, your mental health, but I, if, 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 I, if successful in, in, this, in this election, I am capable of doing this job. I have heart and passion to serve and help our community members. And one of the, I, think I, was, gonna, I was saying addiction and mental health are big issues and to be tackled in Montreal A. Another, homelessness is, is, another, is another big issue for, for our membership here in Montreal A. Not, well, not only in Montreal, even in the, 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 urban, the urban sectors. There's a lot of our people, you go to PA and you see them hanging around Tim Hortons, McDonald's, and it's, it just hurts the heart just seeing these young guys, like they're, they should be at home with us, they should be here, like they shouldn't be on the streets and struggling. Um, one, of the, one of the portfolios I held, the major portfolio I held when I was on council was housing, and, I'm proud to say that when I was there, we, we brought, I think it was probably maybe 10, 10 units since uh, when I was on council and you see it being built across the housing, a fiveplex, our first ever fiveplex. So I was, I was part of that and, and I want to continue to, to advocate for our, our, our membership for, through housing and build more houses. We want to empower our youth, give our, give our youth a, a voice, like they, they, they are future leaders. So if, like, one of my suggestions, if, on, if successful on council is one elder, male and female from each sector, and one youth from male and, male and female from each sector sitting in our, our, our council meetings, which are not, which are not in-camera meetings, but, uh, Another one is the Elders Home. We, I don't know how many times, how many people talk about the Elders Home, bringing our, building an Elders Home. We need to bring our Elders Home. They are our knowledge keepers, our, our encyclopedias of our, of our land, eh? so we, we need to bring them home. We need to come together and be united as one nation building. It's not just Montreal 8. We don't just... All like every all sectors get to vote for us, so we need to stay as one. We're not just we're not just Montreal Lake. We're Little Red. We're we're urban. Our, we need to fight more for our urban for our urban people. Plus our post secondary students, they're they're struggling. I I see them like they they my sister is one of them. Barely barely makes rent and doesn't even have money for groceries. Eh? my mom has to help help her out all the time. But with that, um, I can I'll, I can promise you everything. But I can promise you my hundred percent commitment to this reserve, to this nation. So with that, I will be having campaign dinners. We I didn't plan on the dates yet, but I will I will be on social media too to to provide the dates and the whereabouts. I'll have one in Little Red, one in the urban sector, and probably a couple here. So with that, I like, I'd also like to thank Conrad for, for putting his name forward too. So this is a big job and it's not easy putting your name forward. So.
Right on, Connor. Thank you. And with that, have a good night, everybody. Thank you.